just now at a gluten-free cafe. And our uh, housemates that we're seeing, where we're seeing, got in from Carnival at about 4 a.m. Very impressive. But then it's just usually pretty quiet in the mornings, particularly on Saturday morning. So, brunch first. And then we're going to try and get the ferry across to Murano and Murano Islands for a bit of a day trip. Ciao, amor. Ciao, ciao. Muy frío. What is it in Italian? Fredo. Ciao, Murano. Murano. Grazie. Kind of get into a rhythm. I'm almost ready for a morning after all. was that when sailors came home a bit boozed they knew which house was theirs they knew which house was theirs Love that. but they also say that about Greece so who knows but regardless the Euro I've just seen maybe we should join them we seem to come to a restaurant that is only local on a Saturday lunch which is a good call and the waiter just told me that my Italian was very good which is nice he was but, talking to me <laughs> um, but it's like a hotel it's, it's like a not a hotel a restaurant that like has room upon room so it seems like it's this tiny little place and then all of a sudden we're way out the back and all the walls are seafaring which is why I got the pizza I uh a little bit country. I hope so. I cannot get over how many people are on this bridge. They look like bees. <laughs> Negotiating the crowds. stayed all day today which was really different and Murano and Murano were great we got an all-day um, Vaporetto pass that lasts for 24 hours so we're going to use it tomorrow to go to the Peggy Guggenheim uh, art gallery um, but Murano was my favorite it was really cool 
Um, and a bit of a funny story that only um, our close friends will know is that when Ev and I used to tour guide, um, we used to go through, there used to be a place here called the Barano Lace Makers in Venice. So not just on the island, there were specific women here. You'd go in and you'd meet them. There were these women with these fabulous personalities all in their like 40s and 50s, even up to their 60s. And they'd sit and kind of make the lace and talk to you about it. And we would take people there um, and you could buy everything from table runners to christening dresses to masks gloves, lingerie, all this kind of stuff. Anyway, the very first time we went, um, I kind of thought to myself like, oh my gosh, the only really thing that I'd love from here is um, my, my wedding veil. At this point, not on the cards. Every tour we used to go through them. So what we started doing was that I would go, or Eve would go through and he'd see these women and they kind of liked, they kind of started to like the idea that we were a couple and we were always separated, you know, like, and he would leave a letter for me there. And so then when I would go through, I'd pick up the letter from these ladies and they became like a little love messengers. It was really, they were really invested in it. Anyway, um, as it turned out, one of the next times that I think might have been the last time we went through before they were closed down during COVID and not reopened, which we had been together, I want to say five months, but maybe not even that. And um, in a course of events, we bought my wedding veil there. And, you know, someone was like, what's your dress like? I'm like, I don't have a dress. I'm not engaged. But we went through and we tried a few on and found this one. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's perfect. Um, and yeah, like just kind of, brought it home with us and it's traveled around with us and my mum's been keeping it um anyway six it'll be six and a half years later I'm wearing it on my wedding day which is kind of like it seems kind of normal to me now but I think back I'm like we bought me a wedding veil so early into our relationship and now I love that. Anyway, the point of that story was today we went to the lace making island and it just made me think about how much I love that story now that it's all kind of, you know, now we are where we are and I'm getting to wear it and yeah. Anyway, um, it is bustling out there. I've never seen so many people in Venice, even more than the summer. I think it kind of culminates this weekend, kind of about it. Um, and so we're going out to dinner and then we're going to head into St. Mark's Square probably to go to um, a fancy bar or two and see where the night takes us. I think St. Mark's will be like a bit of a circus, which is, you know, exactly what we're after. Anyway. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. We'll show you what it's like at dinner. So we just had a beautiful dinner and we're now winding our way down very quiet streets it's amazing it's such a maze but you can be like 200 meters from a main square mm -hmm. but on a street that's empty so we're now heading to a very fancy bar to see if we can get in if google maps is heading us in um, the right direction Lex used to get in trouble on top for saying everything was beautiful yes i did find a different agent king well, if it's the most apt adjective, I stand by it. We had a delicious dinner and now we're going to a, <laughs> a <laughs> indulgent bar. <laughs> and the night is very young. Young. 
I want to sleep until two on a Sunday and listen to the bluebird sigh. Get so We've snuck into the Hotel Danieli Park, which is the hotel from the tourist. It is probably the most opulent bar I've ever been in. This after all is costing us 18 euros. But the people watching in here is incredible. And I don't actually know if the bar is available to the public. Bar Dandelo. It's so, it's so cool. Slow dance under stormy skies. Maybe I'm just old fashioned. Read too many fairy tales. It's no wonder I've had no luck. No one's ever good enough. I want to love like I've seen. Well, I think it is going to be hard to find a bar <laughs> that tops that. That was really cool. And people's outfits were incredible. There were lots of very big special invitations in people's hands off to special parties. Naughty balls. We'll get there one day. In the movies, that's why I'll never fall in love. <laughs> Pistachio in a trolla. Con cona senza glutine. Buonissimo, buonissimo. It's the best surprise. Oh, look at it. It's warm as well. You can see it. Oh. Mm. So it's a cross between a hot crust bun and a, like a jam donut. You can get them with cream and alcoholic cream. Oh, no. and these little guys are chowing down on theirs. <laughs> over there and thought this would be a cool place to visit. But I think perhaps her sex life was more interesting than the artwork <laughs> she collected. Well, we're just not fans of contemporary Yeah, that arts. was our fault, not her fault. But I still think it was worth coming to see. Certainly something.
Chasing down the sun, but suddenly I can see. Off to dinner for our last night in Venice. I've got my new shoes on. My red dress. I'm in love with them. Can see everything.